Welcome to the Words to Empower podcast, featuring Bishop Frank Stewart, pastor of the Acts Ministry in Conway and North Little Rock, and now Pastor Stewart. Greetings in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ, and welcome back to your Acts Ministry podcast. We're talking about living in the promised land and how God prepared Israel to live in the promised land. And we've been discussing some of the things that we need to equip ourselves with. One is to live in a promised land, you, you got to conquer fear. Fear. Fear was something that God really stressed to Joshua to deal with. And he gave him the encouragement. He gave him the warning to deal with fear. And we see that. We see that deep-rooted fear rise up in Joshua. Not only do we talk about fear, we talk about preparation. Getting ready to live in your promised land. Your place of vision. Your place of dream fulfillment. Your wealthy place. Being able to live there. The one thing we talked about is not just going to visit. The ten spies, they visited the promised land, but they never lived in it. God want us to live in the promised land. So we talked about that. Preparation is huge. Preparation in every way. Physically, emotionally, spiritually, being prepared. The other thing we talked about, having the knowledge. Knowledge. Knowledge that God gives. And, and that knowledge was the reason why. The knowledge of knowing your history and the reason why you're going to uh, be allowed or given the promised land. Knowing the knowledge of the purpose. See, the promised land is not the purpose. The promised land is a place where you can execute the purpose. The purpose of God. Very important. If you get that confused, you think once you get there, you have arrived and you'll miss your purpose because you think you've fulfilled your purpose. The other one was developing a habit, a habit of meditating on the word of God. And those are four things we talked about. Today, we're going to talk about something that is just as important and something that I want to stress. And that is in order to live in the promised land, you have to know your God given boundaries. God given boundaries. We all got boundaries. If you're going to live in the promised land, you have to know your boundaries, God-given boundaries. Let me read Joshua chapter 1, and in verse 3 it says this, Every place that the sole of your foot will tread upon, I have given you, as I said to Moses. Now, he said every place, every place that you put your foot down, I have given it to you, as I said to Moses. Now, the problem with that is he, go, he is going to define every in the next verse. And this has been one of those things that has caused Christianity to have many black eyes. What do you mean? People thinking wherever they place their foot, that God was going to give it to them. But they never read verse number four. Verse four says, from the wilderness and this Lebanon, as far as the great river, the river Euphrates, all the land of the Hittites and to the great sea towards the going down of the sun shall be your territories. So he gave them, he gave them parameters, parameters. And, and they had limits on what they could possess. Now, I want to take you back to the book of Deuteronomy and tell you what God said concerning the promised land that he was given them. And that's in Deuteronomy chapter 2 and verse 9. Listen to this. Then the Lord said to me, this is Moses speaking, do not harass Moab, nor contend with them in battle, for I will not give you any of their land as a possession, because I've given Ah, the descendants of Lot, as a possession. I gave it to your brethren. I gave it to your brethren. I'm not going to give it to you. See, we have to understand we have limits. We have boundaries. And this is one of the things that's caused many people to be shipwrecked. 
They don't realize there are boundaries, there are parameters. When God says every place you place your foot, he's talking about a specific area. Their promised land was not in Egypt. Their promised land was, was, was not in some other foreign country like Babylon. Their promised land was in Canaan. So God says to them specifically, I am not going to give you the land for possession that belong to the descendants of Lot. Stay tuned for more of Frank Stewart. And now for some special announcements. Thanks for partnering with the Axe Ministries. We value your service and your donations. That's why we've made it easy to make contributions to support our ministry. Simply go to your web browser and click the search bar and type in axeministriesonline.org. Then click Donate Online. It's really that easy. For mobile giving, text the amount you wish to donate to 501-302-4242. That's Simple Give. And now, more of Pastor Frank Stewart. I'm not going to give you that. See, whenever God gives you something, then there are many things he's telling you that you cannot have. If he says you can have A, he didn't include B, C, D, and E. He told you A. A is going to be all that you can handle. A is going to be more than enough for you. It is going to be an abundance for you. But not knowing your God-given boundaries has caused many people to make shipwreck. It's caused many people to get destroyed because they didn't know their boundaries. And they tried to stretch their boundaries beyond the abilities, beyond what God has said that they could have. So again, it is here in Deuteronomy, before they even get to the promised land, they knew their boundaries. God told them, I'm not going to give you this. Now that's very important because not only does God tell us what we can have, he tells us the parameters, but he will also tell us what we can't have so we won't make shipwreck. Is so many people have tried to possess things that didn't belong to them, the things that they could not handle. Every one of us is limited. We're limited. Once you come into the flesh, then you're limited. It's only one omniscient, omnipotent person, and that's God. When Christ was here as a man, he says it clearly and plainly, as long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. He, he places the boundaries there. He says, because I am in flesh, I'm limited. I got to die. So if we don't understand those God-given boundaries, what will happen is that we will, we will seek things that do not belong to us. This is very, very important. And it's important because... Many people are not accomplishing what God wants them to accomplish because they're trying to accomplish too much. When I say too much, they're trying to possess something that doesn't belong to them, something that God never intended them for them to have. The prayer must be, Lord, I want everything you want me to have, but I don't want to possess anything that you do not want me to have. So he had to tell them that they're coming out of slavery. They're coming out of an abusive situation. And anytime you have been in abuse, there's that tendency to control. When you get in a position where you can control because you don't want to be abused anymore. So that, that that's very, very important. Understand that. That, that, that level of abuse, it pushes some people to really try to control everything so they will not be hurt again. So here, here, God says to them, you can't have that. I'm not going to give that to you. So if God has told you what you can have, has he told you what you can't have? That that is not for you? That is not within the boundaries I'm giving you. Because God gives us boundaries. So he says, if he didn't give us boundaries, we would, we would own everything that belonged to other people. 
There's boundaries in a relationship. There's boundaries. Now let me show you. Let me show you what the Bible says because I want you to see this. Look what the Bible says here in Exodus 20 and 17. And this is one of the commandments, one of the Ten Commandments. It says in verse 17, "Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house." Okay, that is outside of the boundaries God has given you. Your neighbor's house. You can't have that. Covet. That's greed. That's greed. That is not an anointing. That is not the direction of the Holy Spirit. That is not God motivating you to do that. That is another spirit. And that is the spirit of deception. Because the devil knows that if you go beyond what God has given you, then you're going to make shipwreck. Plus, you run away from under the covering. Then he has a better better advantage of destroying you. You can't have your neighbor's house. Exodus twenty seventeen. Thou shalt not covet your neighbor's wife. You can't have his wife. Or you can't have your neighbor's husband. Just think about that. That is outside of what I have said you could have. I, you know, and, and that is important. And, and he goes and he talks about manservant, maidservant, ox, donkey, anything that is your neighbor's. Anything that belongs to your neighbor, do not covet. Do not wish that it was yours. Not something like it, but you want that. Not not a sweet, wonderful spouse like they have. No, you want theirs. So I, I, I want to emphasize the boundaries, the boundaries, because I believe that this has caused much, much dis dissension and discrepancy within the body of Christ. So we have to be able to seek God, to pray to him, and to be able to humble ourselves, to say, Lord, what are my boundaries? What are my boundaries? What, ha what have you given me? And, and God forbid, don't let me take credit for that. So we see God telling Israel before he told them about where you place your foot. He told them what I'm not going to give you. That is not yours. Now, in Romans chapter number 12, and if I could start reading the verse 3, notice this. He says, For I say, through the grace given to me, to everyone who is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly, as God has dealt to each one a measure of faith. Now, what he's saying is, God has given every one of us a measure of faith. And he said, don't think of yourself too highly. You know, when you look at the disciples, you know, the Bible teaches us that as Paul was sent to the Gentiles, Peter was sent to the Jews. It wasn't them sent to everything. God understands boundaries and limits, and he understands strategy to focus on a certain area. So this is what we're looking at. And when we don't do that, then we can cause shipwreck. Now, the reason why it, it, it's such a devastating thing in the body of Christ is because we say God said it. God said it. And if we are called by his name and we say that we know him, when we move and accredit that to God, and when it falls apart, the people that are looking lose credit. We lose credibility, but also there's an impact on Christianity. So we all have boundaries. We all have limits. So when God told God told Moses concerning the Promised Land, He gave him boundaries. Let me read it again, so you can see the boundaries. Verse 3, he said, everywhere you place your foot, the sole of your foot will tread upon. I have given you, as I said to Moses. Now, that's Joshua chapter 1 and 3. But then when you get to verse 4, he says, from the wilderness, he's telling them the boundaries. You got to read the next verse. You got to keep it in context. He says, from the wilderness and this Lebanon, as far as the great river, the river Euphrates, all the lands of the Hittites and the great sea towards uh, the going down of the sun shall be your territory. And, and, and brothers and sisters, that was way more than they ever possessed. That was way more than they drove the enemy out. He understands our limitation. 
So the one thing we must understand before we can really live in the promised land and be successful is that we have to understand our God-given boundaries. God-given boundaries. We have to understand our limitation. Limitation. If you feel like limitations in your life or, or you being limited takes away from you or belittles you, then there's something wrong inside of us because everyone that is born of a woman, every person in this world is limited. And I've even mentioned that even Christ himself, he knew he had to die. He was limited. I must work the work of him that sent me while it is day. See, speaking of a limitation, I'm only here for a certain period of time. He had to, he had to, he had to live within the parameters that God had given him. So I'm saying to you, knowing your God-given boundaries will help you live in the promised land and to accomplish what God wants you to accomplish. So it's very important that we understand God-given boundaries. God bless you. For mobile giving, text the amount you wish to donate to 501 302 4242. The Axe Church in North Little Rock is located at 1224 Franklin Street. And for a powerful word, join us at 9.30 a.m. for our morning worship service. Bible study is each Wednesday at 6.30 p.m. For more information, go to axeministriesonline.org or give us a call at 501-329-2055. Thank you for tuning in to the Axe Ministry Podcast. The Axe Church is located at 1423 Indian Street in Conway and 1224 Franklin Street in North Little Rock, Arkansas. Tune in each day to hear an inspiring word from Pastor Frank Stewart.